In this video, I'm going to talk about selecting certain parts of images um, and allowing the other image behind it to come through. Um, so the first thing we need to do before we select anything is put the two or more images on top of each other. So you have to think about the order you want. If this is the photo I want on top of my landscape photo, then this needs to be my top layer. So um, first thing to remind you, you can do Command A to select the whole image, and then Command C to copy it. Click on the other image and do Command V. If the image is larger than the image behind it, you'll have to work on um, doing Edit, Transform, and Moving, which I'll review in a different video. So for now, I'm just going to pretend that it placed it exactly correctly. Okay, so. The next thing you need to do is in your layers, make sure you're on the layer that you want to be selecting. And I'm going to talk about selection tools next. So you have three different selection tools with multiple options. You have the marquee tool, that's the M key. And in the marquee tool, you have a rectangular marquee and an elliptical marquee. You can select a rectangular or square area with the rectangular and you can select a circular or oval area with the elliptical. Okay, if you want to cancel the selection, you can always do Command D. The next tool you have is the lassos, that's the L key. You have three lassos to choose from. You have the regular lasso, which involves you basically freehand drawing a loop. Okay, if you let go of the mouse though on this tool, um, it'll, it'll select it real quick and you may not want that, so you do have to be careful with it. So you have to do one continuous loop all the way around the thing that you wanted to select. Okay. The next lasso tool is the polygonal lasso tool, and this is good for polygonal shapes. So for example, if I wanted to do a triangle, I click, I click again to create the next corner, click again, and then the tricky thing I have to do is I have to loop it back exactly to the same spot that I started and it looks like this symbol here. You click, and it's selected. Okay, the last lasso tool is the magnetic lasso tool. There are some settings up here you can change to make the selection quicker or um, stronger. So what you do is basically go around an object and it will trace it for you. Um, again, it's a little tricky because if you move your mouse too quickly, um, you are going to get more or less selected than you originally wanted. And you do have to loop all the way back around again. Cool. This tool is probably better to use with a stylus, to be honest, um, rather than a mouse, but it is an option. Okay, the last tool, which is if you want to select a specific person or um, an object, it's probably the best. It's the quick selection wand. It's the W key. And there are two tools under here, um, the quick selection and the magic, so make sure you're on quick selection. At the top, you have the choice between adding to the selection here and taking away. And then you have different brush sizes, hardnesses, and spacing. Okay. So um, for example, if I want to choose her, I'm going to go to the plus. I'm going to use a larger size. And then I'm going to start selecting. Okay, now that's selected way too much, so I'm going to undo Command Z or Command Option Z. And I'm going to go a little slower and maybe with a smaller brush. Okay, so I've gotten her outfit here, but I need to select a little more. And it got too much over there, but I can clean that up. So if we go to the minus, I can take that away. And then I can continue trying to build the image without selecting too much. You can always um, use the minus the, uh, selection, or you can do Command Z or Command Option Z to undo. So I've almost got it. I just need to add more here on our hair. And then I need to take this away. OK, so I'm going to go for that for now. There's a little bit more that I should have selected, but just for time's sake, um, you can get the idea. OK, the next step um, is to go to the Select and Mask. You can do this with any of the tools. So if you click Select and Mask, it's going to take you to the screen. And it looks this way because I've already set it up. 
At the top, um, go to High Quality Preview. And then to preview it, be an overlay. What's red is not selected, and you can see what's selected is um, visible. Okay, you have some tools here and brushes here that you can use to clean up the selection. Again, I'm gonna do a quick job just for time's sake. For your own image, you would do a much better job. You have the quick selection tool here and you have the options between plus and minus. You also have your brush. So for example, if I forgot something here, I can be on the plus and I can try to bring it back. And if I choose too much, I can take it away. Okay, and I can go back and forth between those two with a bigger or smaller brush. Okay, now let's say that I need to clean up um, the edges. Um, I can go to these two tools, so this will um, really give me a more refined adding or taking away of the edge. This is the brush tool. Okay, so I can like paint in little areas. Um, and then I can also use this tool to really, really refine that edge. Okay, so you can see there. And again, you have to check at the top if you're on the plus or the minus brush whether you're adding or taking the selection away. So I want to go to minus for this area. Okay, when you think you're done with the um, edge, using those three tools to fix it up, then what I would suggest is over here you go to view and you switch it to on layers. Look at your edge. Okay, do you need to go back and do more cleaning up? I do. But you can also um, use these options down here under global refinements and smooth out the edge. You can add a feather. I don't want to soften the edge, but you could. I'm just going to smooth it. Um, and you can also add contrast to the edge if you need to. You can play between those three sliders here. And then down at the bottom, really important in output settings. Go to output two, and you're going to choose new layer with layer mask. In the next video, I'll talk about using the layer mask to even fix it even more. So you want to end this option. You're going to click OK. And then you're going to see it's going to exit out of that screen and bring you into the regular Photoshop screen. We now have this new layer with the layer mask added that we can use for an additional cleanup. We don't actually need this original layer one anymore. So if you want to get rid of it, you can to make your image not quite as large. You highlight it and hit delete. <coughs> Don't forget you want to make sure that you're saving as a Photoshop with layers into a new folder. Okay, And I would strongly suggest you call that new folder Museum Edited. Photoshop layers save. Okay. I'll have some additional videos about more editing things you can do here, um, but that's it for this video.